Uh, welcome, Chibis and Chibets. This is David the Smash Fan and... It's Miles, your tech guy. And today we're going to dive in into a lot of the theories and... Um, yeah, theories have been going around uh, Dragon Ball theories. Super. I mean, some of them, some of them are like really <laughs> in depth, in depth, and some that are like, like they take pieces of the sh- of the show and they're like, it could be this, and, s- and then some of them are just completely far fetched. I have no idea <laughs> where they're coming up with this stuff. And it's funny, like a lot of them, at least for me, I get them from the the Spanish community of Dragon Ball Super. Yep. They come up with a lot of um, different theories. And so we're gonna dive into some of them and just kind of talk about the the possibilities of that theory being true, um, and or debunking them. Um, and this, this these series are coming out around after episode fifty eight and after so, uh, manga chapter sixteen and manga chapter. So for what's happened for the for all the theories that we're gonna talk about are after where the manga talks about what happened with Trunks against Boo, and then what was the last thing that happened in the anime? Uh, in the anime, we found out. Um, Basically, the, 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 the Supreme Kai, movies? yeah. We found out Weiss's theory, and we found out the Supreme Kai mm. found out that um, that Zamasu was asking about the Dragon Balls, yeah. the Super Dragon Balls, and about Goku. So if we're kind of, if you guys are watching and like, you're kind of caught up at that point, that's where we're at this week right now. Yeah. So spoilers if you haven't read mm-hmm. the manga. I know it's not out in English. Um, mm-hmm. It is out in Spanish, and there are some people who have kind of basically gave a synopsis of what the yeah the manga says so you can kind of go uh, on youtube if you guys want to get a synopsis of what's happened through the manga there's plenty of ways to figure it out before it gets pretty much you know translated right so let's go with let's go with the with the one that deals with the manga and the theory is that the reason that that trunks is so strong Mm -hmm. um is because he is in his timeline mystic the way gohan was mystic gohan in our timeline this is just those theories, and we're going to talk about that. We're not saying he is. This is just a discussion we're going to talk about on our opinions on right, this. Right, and the reason that they're saying this is because um, in the manga, they go more in-depth into yes. Trunks' training and his actual fight with Deborah and Babidi, mm-hmm. uh, more so than the than the anime, which was like a two-minute clip. So in this one, it actually shows him going to the Realm of the Kais and him training with the Z-Sword, which is really interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you see actually the same kind of... Um, event that was going to happen where this Z-Sword would have broken because he, because uh, Supreme Kai um, was using the block was like using with the little block with the strongest Just metal not as, a, as much as Goku yeah. pushed it but he was about to throw it but the thing is he stopped, he's like wait Majin, uh, Babidi and Dabor have already gone to Earth so they go there, we know he beats them. We find out the Kaioshin dies at that time. Yeah, Supreme he died. Dies. Yeah, he's fr- Do we want to just go straight up and say that it, we, if we think this is bunk or to bunk on the theory? Yeah. So this one, we I think we're agreeing. This is bunk. Right. This theory is bunk for a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons why is because um, if you if you watch Dragon Ball Z, Gohan didn't become he didn't go into his mystic form from the sword. At, from the sword, it was it was only after he broke the sword that the old guy came out and yes. unleashed. His hidden, hidden power. power, like for the fifth time, whatever. <laughs> That's a joke, but yeah. So, okay, so that, that you just saying, so from the manga, because you were able to translate it better, I had to watch from video translations on YouTube, you actually got to read a lot of the dialogue. So, the Spring Kai never came, or sorry, the old Spring Kai never came out during that sword during the training. So, right. he would have never had hidden power unlocked. But also, I, I want to ask you, David, what your thoughts were. Gohan. When he got his hidden powers unlocked, we've always known Gohan had hidden powers, like the Super Saiyan 2. Right. So Trunks has never been said in the same way of, like, Gohan to have this hidden power since birth, where, you know, like, uh, this fight against Raditz, or, you know, when he fought Vegeta, or he gets his powers again against Frieza, etc., etc. So Trunks, even if he did get his power unlocked by the Supreme Kai, I don't think it would have been, like, a mystic jump, ex- essentially, if... The Spring Kai, or the old Spring Kai, did come out. There's, there's a lot What's of, there's thought? a lot of thought on that. And one of the main things, and I can't remember who it was who said this. I think it actually might have been Geekdom, or it might have been Opai Senpai who said this. But in one of the chapters of Dragon Ball Super, and it was said somewhere else, and I can't, if I can find the source, I'll try and put it in the video. But basically, they're saying that the half, that the half breeds, the half Saints, actually have more potential to become stronger than the pure blooded Saints. There's a reference on it in the manga where... I thought about that, too. Where in the manga where Vegeta's talking to Goku and asking, where's Gohan? And and he's like, you know, oh, Gohan, he's, he has a seminar, he can't come. And he's like, like how can you let him do that? You know, he's in Didn't he say he has like, more potential, he has than, more all potential us? than all of us to be the strongest? But that could be just depicted to Gohan in general, because Gohan's <laughs> always had that power. Right, it could. Because you never hear Vegeta say that about Trunks. 
Right. But again, we also know that Trunks have be- has become strong. As by, strong as Super Saiyan 3 in 2 form. Yeah. Which and, is awesome. And we can we can um, attribute that to yep. his training with the Z-Sword. Yes. Because I'm pretty sure he trained a lot longer. Yeah, we don't know how long. And it's like because Bob, they would have had more time Bob, considering he, the fact of how long it took them to get the power for Boo doesn't even compare to the past or the current timeline because he got all a like, Gohan Super Saiyan 2 power and then you got the Majin Vegeta versus Super Saiyan 2 Goku fight. I mean, it's a huge amount. It said that it took him 10 years longer to get the power simply because of that. Uh, yeah. All the, the, all the, all the humans, humans are, are dead. dead. <laughs> so just by that alone, I mean, and then he's getting trained by the Kais. I mean, because in how they depicted it a long time ago in the Boo Saga, was Supreme Kai is actually a pretty, uh, he's a good fighter. He's very powerful. You know, I mean, he, he was very, you know, even Piccolo was pretty scared of him when he first sees life from his power. So, I mean, you know, if you go to Trunks' timeline where you don't have anything to compare to Super Saiyan 2 Goku and Majin Vegeta and all these powers, I mean, Supreme Kai could really help Trunks with, with fighting. Right, he still underestimated Dabura. Trunks. He underestimated Deboron. That's why, it's if you true. read the chapter, that's why he dies. And you see that Go- Trunks is having a pretty hard time against Tabura. Uh-huh. It almost reminded me of the fight level power of Gohan, Super Saiyan 2, when he fought Tabura in the current timeline. When he fought him, he had some troubles. And it kind of reminded me of Trunks almost in a similar power level. Right, but I, the thing is, the thing with that, and we're kind of getting off subject here, but the thing about that is that I have a trouble understanding is if Gohan could go Super Saiyan 2, at that moment, if I understand correctly, if I'm reading correctly, Vegeta couldn't at this point. Right, but Vegeta has said that he could beat Dabura quickly, showing the power that he has. Yeah, because he said Gohan should have been able to, if he kept up with his training, he would beat him no problem. Right. So I'm, what I, what I'm saying is, is that tribute to his lack of training and his fighting sense being down, or the fact that his power, it because it, 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 they did say it dropped, but Supreme Kai said, but he's still the strongest one in this tournament. Again, not knowing Goku, that's true. Super Saiyan three, and, Vege- and knowing Vegeta's power. Because Vegeta references that Dabura was as strong as um, he's like he's. Just, he didn't say like it, it wasn't very. Uh, you kind of have to read between the lines how it, it was mentioned in the manga. But Vegeta is implying that like Dabura is the strongest perfect cell. You know, he, if he kept up with his training, this wouldn't be a problem. Right. And so it, based on that, I don't think Trunks got any mystic power, or mystic form, or hidden power. He just trained really strong, and that's about it. Yeah, he got really strong. I mean, again, power, level, power levels are very uh, inconsistent yeah. in Super right now. I just weighing it by characters. Yeah, I mean, we're not have, doing any numbers. We're gonna. The thing is, the thing that's cool about it is, I feel that the manga is filling in the gaps yes. where the anime is. So, like, we might see this jump in power, and see training that Trunks does with Vegeta before they go back to the future. That'd be like, okay, this is kind of what happens. Yeah, because Except, when yeah when Trunks fought um, Zamasu, he was fighting him pretty good on par, which. Um, reminding me similar when Goku is Super Saiyan 2 fighting Zamasu, you yeah. know, because we know that uh, his Super Saiyan 2 is more powerful than Goku's Super Saiyan 2. Right. So that makes sense why he was being able to hold his own too. But the, also, this Zamasu has uh, obviously some more years than the one we saw. And is immortal. And, and immortal. is stronger. And is stronger. Yeah. So I uh, no, I would not say he's Mystic. No. I say Bunk. The the other one, um, and this one's been around for actually a while now, um, is the possibility of Goku and Vegeta. Fusing and becoming Vegito, not Gogeta, but Vegito, because of the, the Patara earrings. earrings have been highly like represented or so, presented in this. So this one, it's it's very plausible in the sense that because they have seen that um, Black, that Goku Black is stronger than both of them. I mean, he he, he one hit KO Vegeta, and he it destroyed Goku. Um, and so the <laughs> the thing is like, will they? It's not necessarily. Um, is that what they're gonna do? It's it's more of if you look at the characters of Goku and Vegeta now, is it will are they willing to do that? So this one's a hard one to say bunker to bunk on. The only reason I say that, and I think you'll kind of agree too, is Whis is highly he, he's he's mentioned this plenty of times in the series so far, where he says if only Goku and Vegeta would work together, they would win. But they're too stubborn. Is this the point like with Boo, where the enemy is so strong? And then reaching a power level so soon is going to be so hard that this time they would have to fuse again. What are your thoughts? The the thing that's the <laughs> thing that I guess is kind of scary about Goku Black is we don't know all his potential. We don't mm-hmm. know what limit he's at because every Seems time like we've seen him, with him, yeah, and every time we've seen him, he is 
he is stronger every time. Every time we see him, yeah, when he fought Trunks and when he comes and fights Goku, like he's stronger and, every and time. And if we go by the manga, he was strong enough to kill all the all the all the Supreme Kai's. Now granted yeah. The way that we've seen it, the Supreme Kai's are, are not as strong as the Gods of Destruction. Because Amasu, from what we've known by the universe, he's the strongest Supreme Kai we've seen. Mm -hmm. And he's on par with, like, a Super Saiyan 2 Goku-ish, kinda. Kind of. So, that, which is pretty dang powerful. So, but it's not anything to, like, compare to a God of Destruction. God right. of Destruction, he's a flea. Yeah, and so it's like, I'm, and so, and we know that if the Kai well, the God of Destructions we know of, at least. Yeah. And we know that he's not the strongest one. Beerus, at least, is. But yeah. what's but what's interesting is that in the manga, it talks about how his most troublesome would have been Beerus. Which, yeah, that's interesting. Which we don't know why. That doesn't necessarily mean power level, but it could be the most... There could be calmer cause of destruction, some that yeah. are more passive, where Beerus is a little more shaky. You yeah. bump him the wrong way, he'll just kill you. Yeah. So uh, maybe it could... We don't know, because power levels, like you said, are a little out... And super compared to what we used to deal with. They like, just you know, the one million was Frieza, and you know, etc. But yeah, that's a good point. And him killing all the Spring Kai's means all the Spring Kai's are dead. And uh -huh. like you're, we were talking earlier, is where's where's Whis? Where's Vados? Well, they're not. It's not their job to really care. But then also to ask the question of the Omni King: Does he? Wouldn't he care about all the balances, of all the universes, or does he really not care? We we don't know. But well, what happened to the Omni King at this point? Yeah, we don't even know. That we've never really had. Besides, like, the Dead Zone movie, which is a long time ago that Kiritama probably doesn't remember a lot of, this is the first time we've really had a main villain of a series arc that's immortal. Yeah. That's been canon. Because, you know, the, the original Garlic Jr. saga was not canon. So, what does it mean for a god to be immortal? Right, and we don't... Do, does it, it, it mean he can do something to the Omni... I don't know. And there's not enough And there's not enough information that to give us a yes or a no on this. But going back to, like you said, going back to, to Vegito... Uh, the Potari I mean, earrings. The Potari earrings again. They're very hev They're heavily focused on in this show. But weren't they yellow originally? And we've been seeing the moss who have the green ones, right? Yeah. What are the differences? You remember? Uh, I, are they not said really? They're not Potar. Uh, as far as I understand, they're not Potari earrings. The one that Goas uh, that Goas that's the moss who wearing. But the, the Goas, ones Goas that has some, doesn't he? Or Goas has the Potari earrings. He does because he mentioned like, hey, if we put if you put it on the other side, then we'd fuse. Okay. Because he even he even mentioned that in the in the anime. So we know that he has the Potari earrings. Um, we know that Black and and Zamasu in the future have the Potari earrings. Okay. So now the question is, what what would they would Goku and Vegeta want to fuse again? Granted, like I'm pretty what? sure that if they really want to, they can get the Super Dragon to wish them so that they split. Well, not they wouldn't even need the Super Dragon. They could just get the regular Dragon, just like Supreme Kai and Kabito when they separated from just the. Oh, they did the making ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's not really a problem on that, but it's they're so stubborn. But at this point, if if they, if, I could see that whole balance of power coming. If, if this is just a theory, but this is just kind of me just open minded here. If they if they do transform to Vegito, then what's stopping Zamasu and Black merging, and that that would just make another power balance again. Right, and he's immortal still. So. And do you he's immortal. The only way that they can defeat an immortal, again, the only way that we've seen them defeat an immortal, not canon wise, um, was they sent him to the dead zone. And that's not canon, as far as I understand it. Unless so we're talking about the movie, but yeah. then, how much does Kira Toriyama remember this? He didn't even remember Super Saiyan 2. <laughs> right, so the question this is. This is hard to know. So the question is, how would they beat him? Like, it, would be Vegito even be enough? And that was Because he could destroy him, like. Time and time again to the mo molecule set, but he still would won't die. But then again, too, is the dead zone that was on a mortal plane with a mortal and um, a mortal character that was immortal. We're gonna almost like a god now. Yeah. So this is we don't know. But do you think? So would you say bunk or debunk on this? I'm gonna say bunk just simply for the fact that the way that the, that the characters have been developing. Yeah. That's not something that that's not an option. Fusion for them. hasn't been talked about enough for it to be glanced at, or I mean. Um, thought about because I feel that with Majin Buu fusion was a huge part of that we had a whole arc of fusion mm -hmm. where this it's I know that they say Goku and Vegeta didn't even fight together I feel it's more logical for Goku and Vegeta to actually fight together without merging this time than for them to actually merge so Maya would say bunk as well right so I mean it's 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 something we all hope for we'd love to see again but I don't know with the series if they're doing that it's been more focused on if they work together that could be implied that they fuse. I'm not saying what happened, but I'm pushing more on the bunk side too with you. Yeah. Um, the last one that we're going to talk about, this one's going to be really easy, um, is there's a one that's going around is, is the transformation of Super Saiyan Rose from Goku Black an artificial transformation? 
Meaning that, again, we know that he's... Like, is it achievable by Goku and Vegeta? Is that what you're saying? Right. Is it an achievable one? Is it the next step? Or is it just his version of Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan? Bunk, 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 (laughs) bunk. Sorry, I'm just going right out. Bunk. Is he going to bunk it? I am bunking it right away. I'll let you go ahead. No, yeah. uh, To kind of go on with Miles, like... It's It's the dumbest theory I've heard out of all these, personally. It's like, first of all... The transformation, works. the transformation from from going normal to God, basically, there's there's the key chain. The key is changing. It's a different kind of key. It's God key, and um, Black is and pretty much a God character. We don't know what type of God. Not like a Supreme Kai or Goddess. We don't know. But he does say how he he insults Goku about a mortal reaching God key. Right. So that to me is implying that. He has the god key. He's not like a mortal getting god key. Right. And it's and again, like people can say it's artificial. Yeah, it, sure. I, and I, I kind of want to say that it's an artificial one because I would say so too. he's because he kind of because the way that he, he states it again, he's like this transformation is beautiful in the way that you said I would call this Super Saiyan Rose. He's saying that that's what I would call this. It's like an aesthetic. It's like a more of a. He he does get a power up. He does. I say it, it, I wouldn't have people look too far into it. No one to Kira Toyama. He, I would for how he writes and how he just says to me this is all. If Goku's blue hair fighting another blue hair Goku, that's really confusing. And I feel it's just having that pink diversity helps you understand the two characters fight. Right. It's it's more of like a. How, how would you say that? It's just to me, it's more of just. It's a you, visible. It's it's a visible it's way of super, distincting. Thank you. It's distinguishable, distinguishable between the two between characters. Two. You have the god powering up, so he gets the pink hair, and it's it's just simplistic. Dragon Ball's not overcomplicated. Goku's immortal that gets the blue hair. To me, it's just it's just to help you know the fighting. It's cool, but to me, it's the same transformation. Right. I mean, uh, is Rose more powerful? Well, Black seems more powerful. Black's more powerful. He's taking Vegeta's hits at normal state as god, as Vegeta and God. It wasn't until he had the common breath that Vegeta was actually one up in him there for a sec. And to me, it's just, it's still Super Saiyan God Blue, but it's more rose. But the thing is, like, the people are like, is, is he still a Saiyan? Like, again, yeah. we don't know enough details of if he imitated Goku's body or he made it. Because, again, it's not acting like a real Saiyan body because um, of the Zenkai boost that we talked about yeah. in tons of our episodes. The Zenkai boost only works as if you're moodily, like, mortally wounded. Yeah, and he only kind of got quote unquote mortally wounded when he fought Goku. When he fought Trunks, he kind of got hurt a little, or like he just let he him was getting hit him. upgraded a little bit. But yeah, not but much. he's but he's like every time he hit me, every time you fight me, I get stronger. Yeah, it was more like not like we're Vegeta. Like every time Vegeta was almost dying every time from the Vegeta dynamic to Freeza Saga, you know. Yeah, so it's like it feels like he can he can get that power up way quicker. So there has to be something else. Um, I don't know if it's another race or if it's just based on the wish that was made or the body that he has or who's does the Zenkai um, boost work when they die though like Trunks when he died from Cell or when Fre- Frieza killed Vegeta and he came back as far as I understand I the, Zenkai, the Zenkai boost only works it's when near you're death, on the brink of death and then you survive that's what I think heal. too so to me Rose is its own separate form but more for like the god that that body we don't we still don't we did a good theory but I, I don't think we mean you are on the same page we don't necessarily believe we did theory right. I feel he has a good we already believe the theory of just, you know, Zamasu got the Super Dragon Balls, etc. And we, we know that. But I still feel that because of the... Because we said this is a spoiler episode. Spoiler episodes in the future have told us that we do get an episode that finally reveals Black's identity. Right. Again... What's the point of that if we don't already know? Yeah. And we know that this... That, so, spoilers again. Zamasu's going to die this episode. Yes. He's going to die by, by Beerus. And I still theorize for our fun little theories here that I think once he dies, Beerus gets approved, rewinds time, gets Kawasu back, kills the monster in the current timeline. Right. I'm sure that'll happen. I think it just that's logical. They needed proof. Rewind time, go and do it. I think it's been long enough for Whis to rewind time and he can do it again. And now the thing is, like, what's going to happen now with that God of Destruction? Because yeah. now this is getting now. Again, I don't know if he'll. I don't think Akira well, no, 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 will address because this. he's not a Supreme Kai yet, so it wouldn't have killed any God of Destruction. Well. All right, Kawasu will still be alive. Kawasu will be alive, so their God of Destruction is fine. So do you think that they'll take the... Uh, we'll talk about this later, but do you think he'll, they'll take hit the time rings? Who? Kawasu Beerus. or Beerus? Uh, no. I think once the Moss is done, that our, that our current timeline is saved. I think it's more about the future of this timeline. Okay. So I, th- I think they'll be fine. So Moss is like the only Supreme Kai we know of in this, the, the origins of Dragon Ball that's been evil. 
True. So I think he'll be balanced once Spears takes him out. All right. That's Sounds my theory. Good. Yeah. Uh, good theories, all of us. All theories. <laughs> all right. Well, let us know what you think about um, the theories. If you have other theories that you want us to discuss, let us know in the comments. Um, and go to our Facebook page. At Chimino Podcast, Instagram, at Chimino Podcast, Cabra C, Cabra N, Cabra P. Also the same for Twitter. I'm so proud. And on YouTube, <laughs> uh, where you're watching, this is Chibi Podcast. Um, signing out, this is David the Smash Fan. Smash your tech guy. And this is Chibino Podcast.